Hello guys, I'm Rebel and welcome back to Anybody Can Code Python series. This is gonna be a really short tutorial where we would quickly look at how to download and install Python in our system. So Python can be directly downloaded from its official website. To make it easy for you guys, I've shared the download links in the description box below. Or the other way to go about it is just Google for download Python and you will find its official site python.org. Clicking on it, you will land up on this page that shows the latest version of Python. So if you are a Windows user, all you have to do is click this button, download Python 3.8.1. If you are not a Windows user, based on your operating system, you can choose the link and click on download. Since I'm a Windows user, I'm going to choose the download link for Windows and click on download. So while it is downloading, I have a couple of more things for you. If you are using Linux or Mac operating system, then there is a high chance that Python is already installed in your system. So to check that, open your command prompt or a terminal and type this command. Python 3 space double hyphen version. So on clicking enter, you will probably get the version of Python that is present in your system. It's totally fine if your system has the latest version of Python, otherwise you have to download the latest version again using the process that we have discussed. Looks like it's downloaded. Let's now double click on it to install it. So if you see there are two options, install now and customize installation. If you're okay with the location, you can go ahead with the install now option. Otherwise you can customize the location using this option. It's better if you click on this checkbox so that it adds Python in a path. I'm gonna go ahead with install now option. It may take a minute or so to get installed. So if you see the setup is successful, let's now close it and check for Python in our system. So if you see, we got a command prompt as well as an IDLE. So there's nothing wrong in coding using a command prompt or an IDLE, but I suggest that you install another IDE like PyCharm, which has much more functionalities than the normal IDE. So PyCharm is very easy to install. Let me now take you through the PyCharm installation. I've also shared the download links in the description box. As you can see, once you land up on this official PyCharm website, you will see that there are ways to download professional and community, just go for the community version as it includes almost all features required for any development. I'm going to click download. If the download hasn't begun, you can click on this direct link and start downloading. Normally the download will automatically start. Now that it is downloaded, we need to install it. Click on next. So it's, so it is asking for the destination folder. You can either continue or choose the destination folder using the browse button. I'm going to click next. So guys, I need a shortcut. So I'm choosing this. You can read the others and choose if you want. Click on next. Now click on install. Click on run PyCharm community version and click on finish. Since I had PyCharm in my system, it's asking us whether to import the settings. I'm gonna choose do not import settings and go ahead. So this is how it looks. You can create a new project or a new file and start using it. 
So that's how you install Python and PyCharm in your system. We'll be discussing Python programming from our next tutorials. So stay tuned and subscribe to get notified of our Python tutorials. See you all in the next. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to Facebook for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.